Right, I'm on a metal roof and coatings on a metal roof. Is it bad or is it good? And the problem with uh, these coatings, paint, this on the surface is okay here. But now, then it comes to this corner here. See where the rib is? This corner is where the paint pulls away. It shrinks. And when it shrinks like this, any little crack, you see the little crack here? All right, so I'm gonna show you what happens. The water gets into this crack, all right? And now this is all, peel, pull, it pulls away from this corner. Look, follow the path. Follow the path, right down here. And the water comes in here and fills up uh, this whole bubble here. See this bubble? Watch this bubble. See the water coming out there? Look, see the water? There's the water coming out. Let me show you. There's all the water. Now, that's not good to have water sit like this on a roof. Look at this one. You see the rust? Let's see how bad it is. Oh, look at this. It's rusting. Look at it. Look at the rust. Look, look, this is just coming up. This coating is not doing anything. It's actually making it worse. Look at the rust here. All right, it's rusting this metal, rusting it all away. Let me cut it open. Look at the water going. Look, there's ice. Ice. Look at the ice. Okay, you see the ice? ice. <laughs> and now they give you the medicine. They need to treat that, cure that. We, we know that the problem is it cracks, water gets in, and then it cannot escape. So, how do you fix this problem? So here's what you want to do. You want to remove all this acrylic coating wherever you can. Get this cleaned up. Easy to paint, hard to remove. All right, here we go. Then, I'm grinding off. I want to clean this by grinding it. I'm going to give you a tip. Never, never use this without glasses. Once, see a little wire there? One time it came off and I didn't have my glasses on and it poked me right here in the cheek. Very, very important. I'm going to give you a tip. So, grind it off. All right, so my next step is I want to replace these with pan head or pan head screws. I don't like these, too high. One, two. All right, I went to Lowe's, just to show you, I went to Lowe's, I got these pan head screws. Okay, I hope I got the right bit here. Okay, I've replaced a hexagon uh, fasteners with a pan head. That's nice and tight, you see that? You see the water coming out here? Look, water coming out. Right, right here, I'm gonna put one in here. <sighs> Beautiful. So now that it's nice and tight, what I do is I use a, a tip of poly seal. I cut myself a fleece for there. I'm doing this fast. Okay, so I cut a fleece for there and I cut a fleece for over the screw holes there. This is the best way to seal this. Now, I, I put my I apply a coat of this and this is how you fix a leak on a metal roof. Now, do I like coatings? No, I don't. I, I really don't think they work. Acrylic 
all silicon coatings on a metal roof I don't think works. Um, I prove it to you. I fixed many of them. I'll show you how. I got my there and then I put my fleece over this. Oh, I missed a spot there. Oh, yeah, I guess it's wet there. Okay. Huh. You don't want to stick. Okay, it's because of wet. Put it right in there. Right in there. Look at that. And this is the way you repair leaks on a metal roof. You replace the heads and then you uh, with a pan it so it's flat and then you put a, uh, your poly seal over that. Watch. Very nice. This will never leak again. Do this. I put this to cover those holes. I do a little bit wider there. Just a little bit wider, like there. Okay. And that's it. this cold this is how you fix a leak do I like coatings on a roof my answer is absolutely not yes fix the seams but do it with a turbo poly seal or a, a better product you cannot do it with acrylic acrylic is not it's a paint paint cracks after it cracks water seeps in and it bubbles up and it, it keeps the water in it. It's a bad idea. Coating is a bad idea. Turbo Poly Seal will do the fixing. Yeah, but it's a lot of work to clean up. That's what it looks like and I'm done.